Hi everyone and welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're going to be making this extremely simple hanging sunglasses case. And for this project I'm going to be using size 4 medium weight acrylic yarn. And this is just the Big Twist Value brand and the color is watermelon. I'm also going to be using a size G or 6 or 4.25 millimeter crochet hook. And we're going to begin our project by attaching the yarn to our crochet hook and chaining 14. And if you're unfamiliar with any of the stitches used in this pattern, then please check the links in the description because I will have my stitch tutorials listed down there for you. And once you've chained 14, then we're going to skip the stitch directly beside our crochet hook right here. And working in the back loop only of our next stitch, we're going to place a single crochet. And we're going to place one single crochet in each of the back loops only for the rest of this row. So at the end of the row, we should have a total of 13 single crochets. And when you get to the end of your row, we're going to turn our work slightly so that we're working in the front loops only from our previous row. And what we're going to do is we are going to place one single crochet in each of these front loops only. And when you get to the end of the row, you should have a total of 26 single crochet stitches. And as you can see, we've worked all the way around our original chain. So from here, we're going to slip stitch into the top of our first single crochet stitch right here. And then we're going to chain two. And normally we would be working forwards around our row like this, but instead we're going to alternate between working forwards and then backwards. So once you have your chain two in place, then what we're going to do is place a double crochet back in the last single crochet stitch from our previous row. So just make sure you skip your slip stitch. So we're going to place our double crochet behind our chain, just like this, and that'll create a nice crisscross. Just like that. And so what we're going to do from here is we're going to skip our next stitch. So you can see here that this was the stitch that we just worked. So we're going to skip this following stitch and in the next stitch, we're going to place a double crochet. And then working backward again, we're going to place a double crochet in our skipped stitch right here. And that's how you place your crisscross stitch. So we're going to go ahead and do that one more time, but you're basically just going to repeat that process going all the way around your row. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip the next stitch and then dive right into the next stitch with a double crochet. And then working backwards in that stitch that we just skipped, we're going to place another double crochet. And there you can see we've created another crisscross stitch. So go ahead and repeat that going all the way around your row and you should have a total of 13 crisscross stitches or 26 regular stitches if you're counting the loops at the top. And when you get to the halfway point, you will be on the side where your tail is. So I'm going to show you how to work over it. So what you're going to do is line your tail up with your stitches like this. And then you're going to insert your crochet hook up underneath the stitch and line that tail up. Then you're going to place your double crochet just like normal. And then working back in your previous stitch, just like we've been doing, you're going to insert your crochet hook in the stitch as well as up underneath that tail. Then you're just going to place your stitch like normal. And you're just going to repeat that process all the way around your row and keep crocheting over your tail until it disappears entirely. And when we get to the end of our row, we're going to slip stitch into the top of our chain two stitch right here. And just make sure you're not slip stitching into your first double crochet stitch, but the chain two. And that way we don't decrease the number of stitches that we have. And so from here, what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat the steps that we placed in our last row again. And we're just going to keep repeating that last row over and over and over again to build the body of our sunglasses case. And I went ahead and repeated that last row for a total of 13 rows. So now my sunglasses case looks like this. And so you can either cut and tie off your yarn, 
or if you want to include a strap, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first step of our handle is to chain 25. And you can chain shorter or longer amounts depending on how long you want your handle to be. And once you have your 25 chains in place, then what we're going to do is we're going to skip 12 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12. And in our 13th stitch, we're going to place a slip stitch. So right here. And so now I am going to draw my working yarn up through my handle like this. And then working back over my handle, I'm going to place 25 single crochets around my chain. So rather than working in the top portion of our chains, we're just going to insert our crochet hook around the chain and then place our single crochets just like normal. So go ahead and place 25 single crochets around your chain stitch. And once you have your 25 single crochets in place, then we're just going to slip stitch back into that main stitch where our handle connects. And turning our work slightly, what we're going to do is just place one single crochet in each of our stitches along our handle. And when you're done placing your single crochet stitches at the top of your single crochets, then you're just going to slip stitch back into that same stitch where we've already worked to join your handle. And from here, we're just going to cut and tie off our yarn. And I'm going to hide my tail up the inside of the sunglasses case. And please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.